Hello everyone. Welcome back. So today, right around the time I released the video about 144 FPS Red Magic Ustra with support for a 165Hz refresh rate also came out. I know a lot of people are wondering if that means we can actually hit 165 FPS on mobile, so let's start with that topic first. Then, since Android officially started supporting 120 FPS, I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying my device supports 120 Hz, but I still can't enable 120 FPS in the settings. I'll also go over that issue in detail today. First, about 165 FPS on Red Magic Ustra. To give you the conclusion upfront, the same method that worked to unlock 144 FPS on devices like Red Magic 10 Pro doesn't work on Astra. Which means, unfortunately, 165 FPS isn't possible right now. I honestly thought since Astra officially supports 165Hz refresh rate, 165 FPS would be a sure thing. But it wasn't that simple. The reason is this, on Red Magic 10 Pro, when you set up 144 FPS, you usually select 90 Hz in the display settings. But on Astra, the only fixed refresh rate options are 60 Hz and 165 Hz, so you can't use the same trick. I even tried experimenting with other settings, but no luck. So at the moment, 144 FPS is still the max you can get on Red Magic series. If anyone has actually managed to get 165 FPS working on Astra, please share your method in the comments. So yeah, if you're planning to buy Astra just for 165 FPS, keep this in mind. That said, Astra's overall performance is still better than Red Magic 10 Pro, so even without 165 FPS it's still a very solid purchase. Now, let's move on to the issue of some devices supporting 120Hz refresh rate but not being able to enable 120FPS in Fortnite. To recap, the easiest way to figure out if your phone can almost certainly hit 120FPS is the same condition Epic stated for 90FPS support, your device needs to have at least an Adreno 660 GPU. So in terms of socks, that means Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or higher combined with a 120Hz Plus display. For MediaTek, you're usually looking at the Dimensity 8000 series or higher. Where things get tricky is with Snapdragon 700, 600, and 400 series devices. Even if these phones technically support 120Hz displays, in most cases you won't see the 120fps option in Fortnite. That's because these chips are positioned as cost-efficient mid-range options, and Epic most likely excludes them from 120fps support. The same applies to Dimensity 8000 series and above are fine, but 7000 and below likely won't get 120fps. So if you want to play at 120fps, don't just check if your phone supports 120hz, make sure to also check which socket's running. What about Google's Tensor chips used in the Pixel series? Unfortunately, the exact conditions for Pixel are unclear. If your main goal is 120 FPS in Fortnite, I'd say it's safer to avoid Pixels for now. That said, some Pixel devices can be rooted, which means 120 FPS could still be possible as a last resort method. If you're a Pixel user and you do have 120 FPS working, please share your device info in the comments. Now, one special case I want to mention. Xiaomi Poco F6. Poco phones are known for being affordable and offering great value. I personally used Poco F3 before and was blown away by the performance for the price. Poco F6 has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and supports 120Hz refresh rate, so on paper it meets all the conditions for 120fps. In fact, you can even select 120fps in the Fortnite settings. But in actual gameplay, it caps at 60fps. Why? Well, on this device, you need to set 120hz in the display settings and set 120hz per app. But in Fortnite, the refresh rate is automatically set to based on app settings, so you can't individually force 120hz. That seems to be the reason. 
I'm not sure if this issue happens on other Xiaomi devices with HyperOS, but it's something to watch out for. On my Poco F3 with a custom ROM, I can run 120 FPS just fine. I also found reports online of Xiaomi 13T Pro users with the Dimensity 9200 facing the same issue. And while Xiaomi used to be famous for allowing bootloader unlocks and routing, recently more models are locked down, so be careful if you plan to buy one. If you're using a Xiaomi device and manage to get 120 FPS working without root, let us know your model in the comments. Alright, that's everything for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.